Good morning, Princeton Intermediate. This is Dragon Pride News. I'm Spencer. Good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Beach here. Today is Thursday, March 25th, 2021, week five. Birthdays for today, Weston Hamilton. We continue our Tiger Pride tip of the day with more COVID Chromebook information, this time about COVID safety. For the, health of, for the health and safety of myself and other students, I will not share my device with other students or staff, except when my device needs to be repaired or replaced. So it's a good tip. We're not sharing supplies or food or anything. That would also include our Chromebooks. If we need to help a classmate with a task on their Chromebook, you'll walk them through the task verbally without having to touch their Chromebook or their screen. So that's a good way, COVID safety-wise, how to show Tiger Pride with your Chromebook. Um, and as always, in general, keeping your Chromebook safe and away from food and drink um, and just keeping those cases on there and just being careful with your Chromebook. We have one more day tomorrow to talk about Chromebook Tiger Pride type stuff. Good news shout out from Mrs. Dorr to Kina Robertson. Kina, Kiana has a positive attitude and works hard in class. It is a great, it is great to have her back at school. Keep up, keep the hard work. Our right, time is show we talk about the riddle of the day. What has an eye but cannot see? What has an eye but cannot see? That would be a needle. The eye of the needle can't see, has an eye. There you go. Good news shout out from Mrs. Dorr to Blake Gray. Blake has been very nice to student from the primary school who had been having trouble on the bus. He talks to him and has been a positive role model. This has helped make sure his bus ride a much better start and end to his day. Thanks, Blake. All right, thank you there. Um, we have um, the time of the show we share a screen. I'm going to go to um, this sharing and here we have some raccoons. This is, this is actually just a couple hundred yards from the middle school. So not too far, kind of down by the river there. Where they we have one of our cameras um, there for them. And I'm also just gonna jump ahead a little bit to seven thirty-six. There we go. Um, and then just again, just some, some of the nighttime captures kind of forging around there and um, digging through. Oh, and then we have the raccoon, which I think is kind of cute where they kind of go after the camera, or not go after it, but they investigate it, sniffing it and kind of messing with it. So that's your raccoon getting up close and personal with one of the cameras. They make kind of loud about it. You can see some lies there. Okay, so there's the uh, wildlife clip of the day for you to take a look at um, what I was shared last week. Good news shout out from Mrs. Dora to Lincoln. Lincoln gives his best effort every time he comes to PE class. He has a positive attitude and a good work ethic. Ethic, yeah. Yeah. Um, another good news shout from Mrs. Dort to Celia Patno. CC is active the entire time when she comes to gym class. She seems to enjoy exercising and playing all different games in the gym. She plays by the rules, is willing to help others. Keep up the good work, CC. Lunch for today, chicken patty, smiley face potatoes, raw veggies, fruit, and milk. And we have another good news shout out for Mrs. Dora to Danny Richardson. It was great meeting you this week in Fiat class. Uh, you are a nice addition to our school. Your hard work and fair play has, has been noticed. Uh, keep this up. Uh, we appreciate having you at the Intermediate School. Only three more days to order a yearbook. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We belong, we are Tiger Strong. <laughs>